This is another example where we need to prove something. Uh, prove that uh, d dx of the natural log of absolute value of x equals 1 over x as well. Okay. <clears throat> this property will be useful in the, when you, in the next course, in, in Calc 2, when you focus on differentiation. Because when you have a function 1 over x, um, x can be either a positive number or a negative number. Of course, x cannot equal 0. Um, and we know that uh, what uh, the derivative of natural log of, uh, of x is 1 over x, but if x is a negative number, what do you do with uh, uh, the result of the integral? Something that you learn in Calc 2. Actually, we're going we can, to we can learn that uh, in this course at the end of the course. And we start talking about the integration. Um, you know that the function, the natural log, function does not exist for negative values of x. So, so um, we need to use the absolute value to overcome that. But on the other hand, no, nobody guaranteed to us that the derivative of the natural log of the absolute value of x indeed is 1 over x, and that's the task here. So let's, uh, let's recall the following. The absolute value of x is really uh, a piecewise function, so we can express it like so. f of x uh, being the natural log value of absolute value of x is broken into two pieces, okay? It will be the natural log of x if x is positive, okay? It does not exist when x equals 0. And when x is negative, then to make it positive, we're going to say it has to be the natural log of negative x when x is negative. Pretty much the way we define the absolute value uh, of x, the function that is the absolute value of x. So. So now we have uh, two cases. We, <coughs> there is nothing we can do when x equals 0. But when x is positive, then f prime of x will be d dx of the natural log of x, or simply 1 over x. So we prove, of course, we knew that's true for the positive part. But what about the negative part? Well, f prime of x, when x is negative, will be d dx of natural log of negative x. So, uh, again, a little bit of chain rule here. If u is uh, negative x, then the, nat the derivative of natural log of u is 1 over u. So we'll end up having 1 over u and 1 over negative x. And then du dx, the derivative of negative x is negative 1. So multiply it out, we back into 1 over x. So, and with this, we completed the proof. Um, so now, we proved that the derivative is 1 over x regardless which branch of the function uh, or which, which interval we, we are working on.